Yes, sir. Getting off early on the way to the car. I man, I am. Bro, I'm glad I'm getting off early because, <clears throat> man, I tell you what, I was time off is better than always making extra money, that's for sure. Man, you know what, though? So, I was thinking, I was thinking, of, I don't think I'm going to walk behind. Yeah, and then I'm going to walk behind this truck real quick. <clears throat> Hopefully he's going to back up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to back up. Yeah, so I was thinking about what I said earlier, you know, and I, and I, and I just want to make it clear, man, you know, just like David lied, and I know some people ain't going to like it, you know what I mean? It may not be for everybody who I'm talking when I'm making these videos. Some people may already have their stuff together to a certain extent, but I feel like, you know, hey, somebody may can benefit from it, but not everybody's doing not everybody's doing, you know, better than, some people are doing better than me, some people are not. So, you know, it's not just trying to act like Mr. Know-it-all or trying to get any type of status, you know, in the sight of man. But just for whoever can benefit, man, that's that's what I'm on here for, man, because uh, Jesus already gave us the the commission. He already gave us the authority to talk about his word. So that's, that's where we get our permission from, man. So now that that's out the way, I wanted to continue to talk about um, there's just a couple more things real quick. So this is the thing, man. So you got, so you got, um, you got, okay, you got the, you got the kingdom of God that we're, that we're uh, putting before all this, all the, I, I was talking about my last video about how Joseph uh, went to jail in his situation. He wasn't seeking a way out of it. Well, he wasn't seeking opportunities that caused him to stop doing what he was doing. When Daniel was praying the very law itself said you cannot pray to any other god and he still did it so that goes to show you that he didn't seek an opportunity to do something that's going to keep him in his uh, in his status um but he he still did what he had to do no matter if he was able to uh even though he wasn't able to you know move forward in his status he still prayed to god three times a day so my thing is it may sound like an excuse. You know, actually it is. I'm going to tell you why. But it's not the type of excuse you think I'm talking about. This type of excuse is more of an excuse of my moralistic behavior. And, and it's not an excuse, to be honest. But, but what the, the value of what I'm saying is, it's a difference between seeking our fame or seeking uh, prosperity through, like, uh, a physical physical attribute or you know physical active status of what you do in the world stuff like that that's that's what i'm saying that's what we that's what we're focused on here um now I, and, I, and i want to clarify one more thing too because i don't i don't want to be a type of guy to make excuses i know my dad told me you know don't don't use god as a crutch and i and i am 100 <laughs> percent i believe in that 100 percent, man he my dad is right don't use god as a crutch in, in in other words don't say i'm waiting on the lord and don't say I'm doing this, doing that. Uh, I'm not here where I need to be at in life because uh, I'm still waiting on God. In other words, that's 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 a very valuable gem too, like a very a very valuable uh, jewel when it comes to serving the Lord too. Don't don't use God as an excuse. Um, but what I'm saying is though, is that we have to focus on the moralistic behavior, not the not. Not to say you don't have to have courage, because even when you look at some of the characteristics in the Bible, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying David and Daniel like they just some some homeboys from the block. Yeah, they're very great men of God, but I am familiar with with the people in the Bible because I've read it quite you know quite often. But when I say these names, I'm saying them for a reason, not just saying it to sound like I know what I'm talking about. When I say David, I say that because yeah, he still had to have courage when he went up against Goliath. He had to have courage when he backed down from Saul, even though he knew he probably could have did some stuff to him. Uh, and he didn't care about what nobody thought. So he had to have courage to fight Goliath. Daniel had to have courage to pray, even though they said don't pray. But what I'm saying is, though, their actions, their actions were, yeah, they still took courage, but the opportunity was awesome. You see what I'm saying? They didn't have, he didn't have to do much. You know what I'm saying? He got promoted. <laughs> Look at that. He he changed the whole law. Daniel changed the whole law just off of one act. He went to his room, sat down and prayed. He didn't have to hardly even do nothing. 
they brought the fight to him and and they 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 made he made him look them look so bad. He got so much favor off of that one act. The same thing with David. Yeah, he had to have a lot of courage to go fight the giant, no doubt about it. Uh, but the fact is, though, he had one great opportunity with doors wide open. You see what I'm saying? Door wide open. The, 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 even though that act, but my, my point is, it's not that God's not saying what you're gonna have to do may be a very courageous act. It could be very, it could be dangerous. It could be hard. But what I realize is that nothing that anybody did that I've seen took them out of out of their relationship with God or caused them to got some wasp around here. Excuse me. But see what I'm saying? It, it didn't take them out of the relationship with God, but it kept if they stayed on the right track, even though their their tasks were great. But I think we've got to the point where it's kind of like in our, you know, in the society we live in, it's 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 esteemed as the right way to do things. You know, like just putting your success above everything. You know, if you got to stay up late night. If you got to not, if you can't see family, if you got to separate yourself, and people are big on saying separate themselves from people, as if you know. Uh, anyways, I don't want to get too much off topic. Um, you know, like I said, I know this is kind of rough, y'all. Like I said, I'm just getting off my job. I wanted to touch up on that. Uh, I did want to touch. Up, the, the other thing is too. The Bible talks about the person's married, uh, that he's going to have to do things to please his wife. I do feel like there may be some exceptions for people. So I'm single right now, so I may be able to do things on a, on, a, on a level maybe that other people may not have the time to do. Like, this fans is doing this video. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I'm sure I might have time too if I did get married. But my point is, though, I was saying that I think there may be some exceptions, you know, and that's why I do feel like I can't put everybody on the same boat. You know, so, uh, if I'm doing something, if somebody's doing something for God on a certain level, Somebody who's married, you know, I can't say that, um, God, you have to do certain things, you know, to be okay with God. If you're married, God may require you to do certain things to keep your wife, to keep you out of fornication. So I, I would, I would think that that's, that's the right thing to do <clears throat> is doing something to keep your family, to keep your wife that you can't avoid fornication and you don't sin against God. So I think it's kind of like a trade off right now, you know, right now you may be you know, you may be able to give more to the church or do something more in your free time when you're single. When you get a wife, you may be doing more for your wife so that you can continue to avoid being uh, avoid fornication and be faithful. So I just want to make that note because uh, I was talking about earlier how you know God the ones to step out, and and I know that some people may you know are, are married and stuff, so they may be, may be required according to scripture to spend more time trying to please their wife and their family you know so that's something that may they may have to do and that's not wrong you know what i mean that's not wrong there is a difference between i think according to the bible it never says it's a sin because he, he makes a reference to saying the person who's single looks after the things of god but the person who's married looks after the things of their husband or wife well i wish i'm sure he don't say wife i mean husband but i'm sure it means husband too sorry i was about to trust going by um Brothers, <laughs> brothers, food. I need to check out drive. I know my young brother got to check them truck, truck, trucks out too. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, I think you know when I say that um, we have to wait on the Lord. Um, definitely, definitely, you know, uh, if there's some things that your wife, your spouse wants to do, and you feel like you know you need to do this, because the Bible does say you may have more trouble in the flesh. That you may have more trouble because you have to please your spouse and stuff like that. Uh, but it doesn't say it's a sin though to maybe you may have to you may not be able to be as dedicated as a single person but like i said already you know to afford that to have that intimacy in your life that you may need uh hey you know you gotta make that sacrifice so and plus you know bible talks about i used to teach your wife and your husband but i want to make that quick point i hope i made that clear you know the simple fact of you know some people may have to do things in single like, like i was talking about you know you can't get ahead of god you know as far as like you know <laughs> If you're doing something that requires you not to pray and stuff like that, I, I I may feel like my prayer my prayer level is higher than somebody else's, or or the way I give to people, but I can't say it's a sin if you don't though. I just made that reference. Uh, to it depends on you know, I could be doing extra extra stuff for God, but in God's book though, let's say if I see Johnny on TV, 
and he has a problem with with lust for women, he has to go get he needs to get married. So, but in order for him to keep his wife happy, to an extent, you know, he has to he has to dedicate his time and his finances to help his wife stay happy. And that right there, if you're sacrificing that to make that, I mean, like I said, I'm single. I'm just talking from a perspective. If I would get married, I hope I am gonna get married one day. I'm talking from a perspective of if I was married, I think that's the way it would have to be. You may have to give up some of the extra stuff you do in the sight of God, which is not a sin to make sure your wife is happy. And like I said, that's a trade-off for making sure you keep your relationship happy and not and staying married and not fornicating like the Bible says. To avoid fornication, you know, you got to have an intimacy in marriage. So, hey, man, I just want to, I, now I'm talking this way fast and just real rough and hot outside, y'all. Excuse me for the, just the, if any tackiness here on this video but i just wanted to, i just wanted to get that out man i just felt it strong i don't know maybe if somebody really had an urgent need man to hear that today which i'm not saying i'm anybody special bro i'm just saying you know hey i just felt the need to put it out there i don't know why i could be wrong i don't know i just felt like somebody needed that man so i just want to clear that up and i hope that blesses somebody man like i said man i know i'm talking quick and fast and that's how i hear but <laughs> i just pray man that somebody can be blessed by that and you know, hopefully, you know, I'm not doing this, like I said, to try to be above anybody, but I really feel like it's a good thing to share what you know about God to other people. Cause you know, everybody you in, in contact with, that's your ally. You know, I'm not doing to be on the, on the, on the pedestal to be higher than anybody. But when I, you know, if somebody hear my words and, and then they tell me what they thinking about God and we all come together, we all gonna be a bigger, better family in Christ. You know what I mean? And the more stronger people for God, man, the better. You know what I mean? That's that's the better. Because we can live this thing out. And we know we all, everybody with a sound mind want to go to heaven. So I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> man, I'm burning up out here, y'all. I, hey, man, I know this was a little rough one, but I hope y'all got something from that. And hopefully next time I'll be, I, I won't be so excited and I can get on here and uh, do a nice, peaceful, uh, nice, cool, calm atmosphere, y'all. But until then, y'all be blessed.